The other very good test, if it were worked on and standardized for Americans, is the urinary porphyrin profile. Because uh, researchers at the University of Washington have shown that, uh, and other places have shown that uh, mercury causes a specific toxicity that prevents uh, you know, the uh, smooth pathway of converting uh, porphyrins to heme. And you can see exactly where mercury inhibits. And mercury is the only compound or the only element that inhibits at that site. And so it's a very good predictor, and that's a urine test, of whether or not your mercury toxic is your urinary porphyrins level. Uh, and I would point out the interesting thing of this is, is that the urinary porphyrin goes into the, uh, inside the mitochondria. I mean, the porphyrin that's blocked is outside the mitochondria. And the step that's blocked is where it is brought into the mitochondria, coupled with iron to make heme, that ends up in hemoglobin, uh, that is necessary for a lot of enzyme activities as well as carrying oxygen. If you look at autistic children who are thought and have been reported to be uh, mercury toxic and have an abnormal urinary porphyrin profile indicating mercury toxicity, you'll notice that they're all very pale. They don't have much color, indicating they don't have much hemoglobin. If you look at Alzheimer's disease patients, people will make the comment, publications are out there, not looking at it like I look at it, saying that it's the lack of heme that causes part of the dementia. And they're saying the heme is absorbed by the uh, beta amyloid protein. And what I'm saying, no, the lack of heme, because of the inhibition, is causing beta amyloid and other markers of AD to take off. But it's basically the mercury toxicity that sets this off. Uh, I am not a fan of the beta amyloid uh, uh, theory of causing Alzheimer's disease. The question, whenever you talk to these people, says, what causes the beta amyloid to go up? Beta amyloid just doesn't decide to jump in your head and cause Alzheimer's. There's got to be something that you know, pushes off, and it's not genetic. We know it's not genetic. There's got to be something that puts that person in the condition that beta amyloid starts increasing. There's no doubt about the toxicity of beta amyloid, but the cause of Alzheimer's disease is not beta amyloid. It's a result of the disease that leads to maybe a more rapid decrease in dementia, increase in dementia, but it's not the, it's not the cause. I mean, you don't eat beta amyloid and become Alzheimer's diseased. And, and to me, this is, uh, again, they don't like my theory that mercury is one of the major exacerbating, if not the causal factor in many cases of Alzheimer's, because there's no money to be made. You can't make a drug against mercury, you just stop the exposure. If you say it's beta amyloid, and they have, they've made antibodies to it, they've, made, they've done tons of work. And when they f make antibodies that bind to beta amyloid, uh, they were very unsuccessful, uh, to say the least. I mean, the patients died. Uh, so it's not, it's not a, in my opinion, a thoughtful, well thought out uh, hypothesis.